Back inside Phoenix Municipal Stadium, no score between Arizona State and Oregon. Second game of this three-game weekend series to open up Pac-12 play. T.J. Matheson alongside Lyle Goldstein for this one. Gage Canning set to lead it off for the Sun Devils, facing Oregon starter of James Acuna out of Cypress, California, graduate of Cypress High School. The skinny right-hander will fire the first pitch to Canning. Catch the outside corner for strike one. Canning go ahead three run triple in the game last night in the eighth inning would clear the bases full of freshmen give ASU their first lead since the first excuse me the third inning of that game and will help secure their first Pac-12 win of the season as that next pitch will miss low for ball one one and one the count rest of the Sun Devil lineup Lyle Lynn will be catching batting second Spencer Torkelson Freshman will be at first, batting third as Acuna winds and fires the next pitch in there. That one's golfed down the right field line. It gets down in for a base hit. Canning rounds first and will hit the brakes there as the right fielder Goldfarb will get it in quickly. A leadoff single for Gage Canning. Yeah, he's just picking up right where he left off from last night. He went three for four in Friday's contest. That's his 36th hit on the season. Gage Canning entering the night, batting a cool 473. Uh, so safe to say he has been locked in here in his junior campaign. Rest of the Sun Devil lineup, Carter Aldretti, cleanup hitter, be in right field. Sam Romero is listed as the DH tonight. We will see if that holds. Uh, he is batting fifth, batting sixth. Trevor Hover, freshman, is in left field, batting sixth. Gage Workman, batting seventh at, over at third. Alika Williams, the second baseman, will be batting eighth. And rounding out the nine is Drew Swift, the shortstop. Here's Lyle Lynn. We'll take one low from Acuna for ball one. As I mentioned, as a freshman last year for Acuna, 19 games. He only started two of them, one and one with a 3.81 ERA, 22 strikeouts and 10 walks in 26 innings. Canning leads off of first. In the summer of 2017, he played for the Bend Elks of the West Coast League, finished two and three with a 4.73 ERA as that next pitch is fouled back. Four strike one, one and one the count on Lynn. This season, so far, a 2-0 and record, 19 and two-thirds innings pitch. So getting already near to suppressing his freshman totals, 2.29 ERA. And four, in fact, four of the five total earned runs he's allowed came in his first start of the season versus Indiana State. And he has struck out eight and walked three. Cunha out of the stretch now will fire one to Lyle Lynn, who pops that one just behind the bag at second over to catch it is Nelson, and he'll squeeze it for out number one. Like Lynn just got jammed on that one a little bit. Now there's one down for the Sun Devils here in the first, and here comes Spencer Torkelson. Torkelson having a freshman season unlike I've ever seen in my brief uh, collegiate baseball watching career. He's currently tied for third in the nation in home runs with nine, and this dude has power to all fields. It is impressive to watch. One down, Canning at first. Acuna still working out of the stretch. Here's Torkelson. Sporting the high socks with the maroon socks here tonight. Acuna winds and will fire the first pitch. I'll miss high and away for ball one. Uniforms for tonight. Arizona State wearing maroon unis with gold lettering, white pants, and maroon socks, while Oregon, in honor of St. Patrick's Day here today, green uniforms, green hats, green socks, and gray pants. 1-0 count to Torkelson. Cunha throw on over to first. Canning dives back in time. Well, the Oregon infield's got a major shift on the freshman in Torkelson. Both the second baseman, shortstop, and third baseman all to the left side of the infield. The first baseman and Matthews holding on Canning at the back, so a wide open right side for Torkelson. DeLuca in center shaded all the way over in left center field, so it's safe to say they're expecting Torkelson to pull. Next pitch in there, 79 miles an hour on the inside corner for strike one. One and one the count. Yeah, it looks like they got a little bit of a scouting report on Torkelson. Of course, it's possible they just want him to hit a single instead of going 450 feet. Torkelson, the freshman out of Petaluma, California, Casa Grande High School. Cunha winds and fires. There goes Canning from first. This one's hit out into center field. In comes DeLuca. It'll drop in front of him for a base hit. Canning had to hold up and make sure it didn't get caught. So Torkelson reaches with a single. Now two on, one out for the Sun Devils. Well, nice job so far by the ASU offense. James Acuna, a ground ball pitcher to say the least, with only eight strikeouts to his name thus far on the season. But two quick hits from Canning and Torkelson. 
And the Sun Devils have runners on with just one man out. Now here's Carter Aldretti. As we mentioned, his first start in right field today. Primarily been an infielder most of his Sun Devil career, but earlier this week got two st- against Arizona, got his first career start in left field, got another start in left field last night against Oregon, and tonight he's out there in right field. So Cunha now working with two on and one out, and here's Aldretti. Uh, Acuna will look back, canning at second as he steps off. Aldretti, as a freshman last year, led the Sun Devils in RBIs with 31. So far on this season, only seven RBIs to his name. Looks like on deck is Hunter Jump. will bat in the spot of Sam Romero that was listed to us. Aldretti will pop that one sky high into shallow right center field. Over is Goldfarb in the right center field gap, and he'll squeeze it for out number two. No advancement from Canning or Torkelson. Aldretti just got under one, so here is Hunter Jump. So both teams running the uh, deploying uh, decoys in their starting lineup to try and fool us up here in the press box who is actually playing, but here is Hunter Jump. He was one of the four guys, as I mentioned, who had great at-bats and got on in front of Gage Canning, coming around to score and help ASU secure that first win of the Pac-12 season. Yeah, Hunter Jump wasn't a guy that was expected to get a lot of playing time here in 2018, but he's played in eight games. He's hitting 308. Not a bad start for the freshman. We've seen freshman reign supreme the last couple, last season, and so far this season. Lineup consisting of five freshmen, including a freshman on the mound for the Sun Devils. This is the first pitch from Acuna. will be catch the outside corner for a strike. Jump, left-handed hitter. Step in the batter's box. Somewhat open stance. Runners canning leads off from second. Torkelson leading off of first. No score here. Bottom of the second. Two out. Excuse me. Bottom of the first. Two outs. As that one is lined over the second baseman's head into shallow center field for a base hit. Rounding third. Coming home is Canning. The throw will go into second from DeLuca. Hunter jump cashes in with an RBI single, and the Sun Devils take a 1-0 lead here in the first. And visibly pumped up over at first base. A nice piece of hitting by Hunter Jump. Not trying to do too much with that off-speed pitch from Acuna, just dunking it into short center field, canning with his speed, scoring, making it a 1-0 lead for the Sun Devils. Nice job by Hunter Jump. That is the second RBI on the season for Hunter Jump. ASU, just like last night, jumping out to a lead here in the first inning. Here is Trevor Hover out in left field tonight. Working on with runners at first and third. Two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. Arizona State on the board with a hunter jump RBI single. Here's the first pitch from Acuna. I'll miss inside for ball one, one and another count. Torkelson leads off of third, jump at first. Cunha working out of the stretch. He'll come set, peek at the runners, and we'll fire home the 1-0. This one is popped out into shallow left field. Racing in is the left fielder, Williams. He can't get it, and it'll get past him. Scoring is Torkelson, rounding third and stopping. Putting on the brakes is jump, ending up at second. Is Trevor Hover. I believe they're going to score that a single and an error. We're going to see what the official score is going to rule that. But nonetheless, a run comes across the plate. Torkelson scores, and Arizona State out to a quick 2-0 lead. And Trevor Hover couldn't have placed that ball any better. Evan Williams was playing very deep in left field. A little surprising considering Hover's a left-handed hitter. But the shortstop and Nelson just couldn't get back to it in time, dropping in front of Williams. And now a 2-0 lead for Arizona State. So it looks like the ruling is a double for Hover. And James Acuna is struggling. So we mentioned coming into this game, a 2.29 ERA for the sophomore. And Arizona State haven't hit the ball necessarily the hardest they they could, but a couple of well-placed hits has put the Sun Devils in front 2 to nothing. Of course, Arizona State trying to look to 
take their first Pac-12 series of the season if they can hold on to this one today. They only won one Pac-12 series all of last season, a sweep of Washington State here at Phoenix Muni. Yeah, conference a conference series win here against Oregon would be a great start for this Arizona State team. Also looking to get back above 500, currently sitting at 9-9 nine and nine on the year. Arizona State, although it is early in the conference season, only one game being played for most of the schools, currently sits at third place in the Pac-12, looking up at UCLA and Oregon State. Cunha back on the mound will fire in the first pitch to Gage Workman, the third baseman, for a strike. And a hit here from Workman could be huge. Remember, Arizona State scored two runs in the first inning last night as well, and then the bats went cold until the eighth. This is a real chance for the Sun Devils to make a statement on these ducks. I'm going to guess Tracy Smith is not going to want to see that dynamic back end of the bullpen for Oregon again, so he's want to jump on the starters early and get him out of the game. So next pitch is in there for a strike from Acuna, and it's quickly 0-2 on Workman. Jump leading off of third. Hover leading off of second. Two outs, 2 nothing. Arizona State lead in the bottom of the first. Already four hits on the board for the Sun Devils. Cunha comes set. Set the runners and will fire home the 0-2. Fouled straight back by Workman. The count will remain 0-2. Workman, a freshman out of Queen Creek, Arizona. Basha High School. Right here in the Valley of the Sun. A hit right here from Workman could break this game open early and give Boyd Vandercroy a comfortable lead to work with the rest of the night. Acuna set. The 0-2 pitch on the way from the sophomore. Inside for ball one, one and two the count. Something that Tracy Smith's probably going to want from his squad tonight is not have the bats go cold like they did last night. As mentioned, two runs in the first inning, and then they went cold all the way through the eighth inning. In fact, Oregon pitching at one point retired 13 straight Sun Devils batters from the first out being recorded in the third inning to the seventh. It's the wind of the pitch from Acuna. This one is lined into center field. and get down for a base hit. Scoring his jump. Here comes Hover around third. He will score. Throw back to first is not in time. Workman, a two RBI single. And Arizona State stretches the lead to four here in the bottom of the first. Blueprint executed. Gage Workman coming through with a two-out, two-strike single. The plate two runs make it 4 nothing Sun Devils. These freshmen getting it done again early today. A four spot here in the bottom of the first. James Acuna, who has been good so far for Oregon, is really struggling to put away these Sun Devils hitters. As I mentioned, his last two starts for Acuna have been his best starts as here is Alika Williams stepping in, the second baseman for Arizona State tonight. Versus Florida Atlantic, six innings pitched, four hits, no runs allowed, three strikeouts and no walks as a throw over to first. Workman will dive back in there safely. And then versus UC Davis in their last series, a win, seven innings pitched, two hits, uh, one run. It was earned, one strikeout, one walk. He did hit four batters, but Cunha has been good for the Ducks. Just not so far here in the first inning as a throw over to first base and a jump, jumping save over there for, by Matthews. Keep that ball from going into the stands or the Sun Devil dugout. As we've mentioned in the pregame, teams from polar opposite ends of the spectrum. Oregon looking to capture that first Pac-12 tournament title in program history for Stanford. Their 13th in 17 years. 40 minutes will decide a champion here on Sunday, March 4th. Stanford controls the opening tip. Here's Snezek. Bring the ball up the court, working on the near wing. Snezek fires it out on the wing to Kiana Williams. She was on fire last night. Pass it back to Snezek. Back to Williams for three at the top. Got it! Kiana Williams picks right back where she left off last night. Hits the first three of the evening and Stanford a quick 3-0 lead. Oregon lost Kiana Williams on that possession. They cannot afford to let her get open, especially from long range. Here's Oregon back the other way. The high-flying offense. First in the Pac-12 in points scored per game. Here's Sabrina Ionescu working on the far wing. Ionescu working now. Stop. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Pass to Cazorla on the wing. Whip it out on the corner. Sobley pump fakes and she'll travel. Turnover for Oregon and Stanford will take over. As good as Sabali's been all year. Of course, she got hurt last night, but that's just a freshman mistake, getting a little too jittery traveling on that play. Stanford forced 14 duck turnovers in their one matchup this season. Already one for Oregon today on one possession. 
Here's Stanford on the other end. Sneezek whips it out into the far corner. Now throw it inside. That is Johnson. Hook shot. No good. Rebounded by the Ducks. Here comes Cazorla the other way. All Pac-12. For all Pac-12 honors for her. She'll whip it out on the wing to Hebard. Back to Ionescu cutting inside. Ionescu will drive into the lane. Left-handed shot. Up and good. Good job of switching hands to the right hand for Sabrina Ionescu. Ducks are on the board. Back the other way quickly is Stanford on the fast break. Alana Smith. Oregon just didn't get back in time. Not really rushing back on defense. 5-2 Stanford. 8.30 remaining in this first quarter. Quickly back the other way. Cazorla with the right hand off the glass. Both teams running a track meet so far in the first minute and a half of this one. Snezek back the other way for Stanford. Calling out the play for the Cardinal. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Pass to Keanu Williams. Back to Snezek. Inside to Smith. Back out to Snezek. Back to Smith. Mid-range jump shot. Caught it. A lot of Smith from 18 feet. And Stanford extends the lead. 7-4. 8.02 remaining. Quickly on the corner. Bando will drive in. Nice pass fake. And... Gets the bucket to go on the baseline. Something we haven't seen a lot of from Lexi Bando. She's a sharp shooter, shooting 46% from beyond the le- from beyond the arc, but fakes a shot and gets the easy layup. Here's the Cardinal back on the other end. Brittany McPhee working on the on the wing. Pass to Sneezek at the top. Now Keanu Williams. Williams back to Sneezek straight away. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Sneezek will drive in. Pass it to a cutting Brittany McPhee. Reverse layup is good. Stanford. An offensive clinic so far, four of five to start this game. Here are the Ducks on the other end. Sabrina Ionescu passes to a cutting route to Hebert. Can't get it to go off front iron. Rebounded by Stanford. Here comes Sneezik. Sneezik will drive in, retreat back to the three-point line. Passes out to Keanu Williams on the wing. Will throw it into the corner to McPhee. Pump fake will drive in. Mid-range jump shot. Caught it. Brittany McPhee, 33 points in the first matchup against Oregon. And her first bucket here tonight. 11-6 Stanford, 6.56 remaining in the quarter. This is simply a different Stanford team thus far, shooting 83% from the field. With the Hubert drive stripped away by Stanford. Here comes McPhee. Trying to find someone open, working straight away from the basket. McPhee will hand it off to Keanu Williams on the wing. Williams gets a screen. Pass it to Sneezek on the wing. Back to Williams. Pump fake. Drive into the lane. Right hand float shot. Got it. Nice floater. Soft touch from Keanu Williams. 13-6 Stanford. 6-27 remaining in the quarter. And they're hanging right with Oregon offensively. A seven-point lead for the Cardinal. Here's Oregon the other way. Ionescu, Pac-12 player of the year. Whip it out to the corner. Corner. Cazorla for three. In and out. No good. Stolen away, though, by Ionescu. Offensive rebound. Mid-range jump shot for Ionescu. Got it. Ionescu, good job of ripping the rebound out of the hands. That looked like Kaylee Johnson underneath the basket. And Oregon on the board now 13-8. Stanford 5.59 remaining in the quarter. Here's Sneezek. will pass it out to McPhee. 17 seconds on the shot clock. McPhee, stop, pop for three. Off front iron, no good. Rebounded by Keanu Williams and a fresh 30. Back out to Alana Smith for three. In and out, no good. Rebounded by Saboli. Here come the Ducks. Cazorla leading the fast break for Oregon. We'll drive into the lane. Retreat back to three-point line. Whip it out to Ionescu for three. Got it. Sabrina Ionescu, that's now seven points, has made all three of her shots. Oregon back to within two. 13-11. Stanford 525 remaining in the quarter. How many times have we said it in this tournament? You give Sabrina Ionescu six inches of space, and she's going to make you pay from long range. Here's Stanford back on the other end. Looks like Johnson to a cutting McPhee to get it to go with the right hand. Good ball movement there from Stanford, finding a cutting Brittany McPhee. 15-11 Cardinal, 5-0-4 remaining in the quarter. Here's Oregon on the other end. Bando, right-handed scoop shot, no good on the drive on the baseline. Rebounded by Stanford. Here comes Sneezek on the fast break. Whip it out to McPhee, 4-3. No good. Offensive rebound fought for by Stanford. That's Johnson underneath the basket. And a jump ball is forced. Oregon will take possession. Timeout on the floor. Stanford, a hot start from the field early. Both teams, in fact, combining 64% from the field for Stanford, 63% for Oregon. Stanford, a quick 15-11 to lead here in the Pac-12 Tournament Championship on KASC Blaze Radio. The Cardinal leading the Ducks, 15-11. to Don't go anywhere.